Tim Sasko lived among the stars, literally. As a young man growing up in Northern Virginia, he dreamed of having a career in TV and film. His big break came after college, where he landed a job as a location manager for NBC in Hollywood, California. But in the summer of 2007, Tim Susco suffered a deadly brain aneurysm. He was only 25. Tim became an organ donor, a decision his family strongly supported, and he was able to save the lives of more than four people. Uh, it's organ. When Tim died, uh, it was a natural choice that we would um, that we knew that Tim would want his organs and tissues donated, um, and so to see the positives that have come out of organ donation, um, with, especially with Tim's case, has been incredible. Um, my parents have been able to visit with several of Tim's um, organ recipients, and they just have told me that it's brought so much positive aspect to it, a sense of okay, this, is, this is, was the right decision, and this is something that we have gone through a tragedy, but someone else can go through a positive and have a positive spin, a second chance on life. In the midst of such tragedy, the Susco family was strong, and they knew they needed to do something to honor Tim, to keep his memory alive. So in 2008, they formed the Susco Race, an 8K run and 2K walk to celebrate Tim's life. In a short amount of time, this race has turned into a real runner's event, attracting serious runners, but also welcoming families. The Susco Race is an 8K run and a 2K fun run or walk. Um, and when my parents and I were really trying to figure out what we wanted to do to remember Tim, running was just a natural, a natural thing. That was what he loved to do. He was all about running when he was younger and such a big part of living at home in Reston and South Lakes High School were where he ran constantly for four years. Uh, it was just a natural choice. Why a race? Tim was an avid runner, participating in cross country and track events his entire life. His brother Tom, not so much. I was 27 when Tim died. 27 years old. Were you a runner before that? I was not a runner at all. Not even close to a runner. So. And when Tim died, uh, Someone suggested that I start running as a way to kind of be by myself and gain my thoughts and, and cope with, with Tim dying. And so I really took to running after he died, helped me to cope, and now I've turned it into a way to, to remember him and honor his name. But Tom dug deep. Tim's death changed him profoundly, and Tom gave himself a goal. Run a marathon or half marathon in every state in the country to celebrate his brother. So in um, August of 2011, I decided to run a half marathon in every state in Tim's memory and Tim's honor. Um, so definitely take into running quite, uh, quite nicely. Uh, so as of yet, we've done 23 states and 24 is coming up uh, in the fall. He calls this endeavor running with Tim. Uh, when I run, I usually uh, try to wear a Running With Tim shirt, and so Running With Tim has been my kind of motto since the whole thing. Since Tim's been with me the whole time, uh, it's natural that he would be with me as I continue to run across the country. And so um, a couple of my friends a year, about a year ago got me a Running With Tim shirt, and so I've kind of con continued that tradition and got some new ones to run for every race that I have. WRTC and Donate Life applaud the Susco family for the work they do to raise awareness about the importance of organ, eye, and tissue donation. And we cheer Tom on as he continues this remarkable journey. So this fall, we'll see you in Reston, Virginia for the annual Susco race. For more information on how to sign up for this event or to register to become an organ, eye, and tissue donor, log on to beadonor.org.